With just over a week left to go on the job, President Donald Trump traveling to Texas to mark more than 400 miles of border wall being built under his watch. But his attempt at a victory lap is being overshadowed by efforts on Capitol Hill to impeach him. Ray Bogan has the latest. President Trump is on his way out of Washington. But it's only for the day, not forever, like a number of lawmakers in Congress want. On the impeachment, it's really a continuation of the greatest witch hunt in the history of politics. It's ridiculous. I think it's causing tremendous danger to our country, and it's causing tremendous anger. I want no violence. Democrats in the House of Representatives are laser-focused on removing him from office. The House chaplain prayed for lawmakers ahead of the effort. Save us from ourselves. The House is expected to vote on a 25th Amendment resolution tonight and an impeachment article tomorrow. The article text is blunt yet still stings. It reads, quote, Everyone involved in this assault must be held accountable, beginning with the man most responsible for it, President Donald Trump. Once the president is impeached, 67 senators must vote to convict and remove him. Democrat Joe Manchin says that number will be hard to reach. There is no rush to do this, uh, uh, this impeachment now. We can do it later if they think it's necessary. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy told Republicans President Trump accepts some responsibility for the Capitol attack. McCarthy wrote a letter to his fellow Republicans saying impeachment will further divide the nation and offered alternatives, including censuring the president and creating a commission to investigate the attack. Rhetoric has real consequences. Because of the Senate's schedule, a trial to remove the president wouldn't happen until after he's left office. In Washington, Ray Bogan. Fox News.